scripts. Hello guys, welcome to the fourth episode of Lumion 10 tutorial. In this episode we want to talk about how to import a file from 3D Max. As you know, models that you import from a SketchUp program and Revit and similar type of program which you enter Lumion it's like that the materials will also get inside Lumion but in 3D Max it's a different story and the materials there that we use as V-Ray and Chrono they don't get inside this program which means this program is not able to recognize those type of texture but today I want to teach you how to import from those programs and have your materials without any loss So first I'm going to import one of the objects from 3D Max without any changes. So we open the file like that. We press OK and then we wait for it to load. Sometimes the 3D Max program need to be open and you need to press OK in order to import it. And sometimes you don't need the acceptance from 3D Max program. And because the files that you're using are a little heavy, it might take a little time for it to load. We wait for it to load and next I will teach you how to standardize textures and important inside Lumion. And as you can see, except glass, which is a standard material, nothing got imported here and we have no texture. So we delete this. We open 3D Max. We open a file here. And as you see, here you can see all materials. We click on one of the scenes. It really doesn't matter. From scripting, we choose run script. And from the scripts that I have, index supplement 10, we got a script that I will upload it for you guys as well. I will install this script again, but I have it installed before. So we add run and we send the whole thing. And this scene that I have is a normal max. So let's choose chronophile. file. 
Maybe the other sun was a standardize, but let's use chronophile. Again, we run the same thing. We install it again and we send the whole thing. And desktop and inside this folder, I will open another one or inside this one. A new folder and I'll select it and I will export it. And you can name the file whatever you want. And as you can see, it's relinking all of the materials and it's turning them to the standard model that is being used in Lumion. And here I will show you guys when it's done. And it's done. So we have our file here and the maps that is being used in there. So we just need to open Lumion and FPX file. We need to open it with the materials that we have there. Till it's being loaded, let me tell you something. When we add that, because the amount of plugins that I use are relatively a lot. It doesn't show me at the top. But when you do this, it will show you at the top of the 3D Max. Let's go back inside Lumion Workspace to wait if it loads or not. And as you can see, this time our model got imported with materials as well. And as you know, for sure you can edit the materials and change the color and other stuff. When you wanted to edit this materials, click on standard, so you have the same material and you can edit the settings. And as you can see, I can change the setting for this material. In a future episode, I will explain about these settings a lot more. And it will really help you guys to work on the materials to enhance your outcome. Let's do the same thing again. So we're sure that we have no problem. Let's import another file. For example, let's open 3D Max and in one of my folders with a name of interior I can use this bed or the furniture that I have here because the bed got a lot more detail I prefer to use it I will do it one more time with you guys. So 
we know that this converter is working properly. And as you can see, it contains all of the materials. And in script, I will run script again. So we activate it again, we install it. And I will save it at the place that I want for my project. We specify the name and we select that folder to set it inside it and then we wait for it to be done. Well, it's done now. Now we can use it inside Lumion. We just need to open Lumion and import it from there. So we have it here and we select the file and we open it. And as you can see, this bed got imported with all of its details. So we can just place it inside our space, just like that. And I can change the materials to achieve the qualities that I want. So we just click on this one and various and we give it a little fur just like that we can customize it to the ones that we like so if I don't like bed sheet I can change the color of it or the texture make it smaller or bigger and as you can see we're using 3D Max very easily and we're importing the details like we want. In future episode I will teach you how to create materials and how to do the lighting because if you master these two, how to place objects inside your space and how to light it properly, it will really help. As you can see, I've loaded some materials before. And when you want to import the material, when you select it, inside here you have different type of categories. For example, I can save inside one of these categories or create a new one. And when you saved it, inside it you can have it and later on inside other projects that you have, you can use it there. So like that you can create a very good archive and use it whenever you want. So let's add a little more detail to our space. Let's rotate our table a little bit so it consumes less space. Let's use some flower pods as well inside our design. So try to do these and try to add a lot of detail inside your projects like this. And these small objects that you place in your design will try to help to make your design look much more alive. And as you can see, I'm adding detail to make this area more alive. We change the material on the back wall as well. Or 
even make the roof a lighter. In the future episodes when we work with material, we can have better outcome. We just click on it and we press camera to have somewhat decent outcome from this with a good angle and a little detail which later on I will explain all of them in detail we can have good outcome and create very good renders Try to, for future episodes, work on some space so we can create some render from them for lighting and such. And as much as you increase the quality for those space, the end result will be better for sure. As you can see, the end result is somewhat decent without spending a lot of time on this one i hope you enjoyed this episode and i will wait for your interior designs and send all of those to me online so we can review and correct it together be well